Hey, what's up? It's John Kizzy. You know who is he, aka Philly G, because they know who I be. And I'm here with DJ Laton. I'm back. My cousin Ray Ray. What it do, peoples? And hey, we started a podcast. And today we're on episode 61. Last year, not I said last year. Last episode was episode 60. I don't think I announced it, but um, you would have seen it in the t- in the title card and all that stuff. But yeah, we hit 60. Now we're on 61. So we're here to discuss a few things. Um, first off, I want to say, how you doing? And, and you too. Uh, we Last week we talked about our New Year's, me, me and uh, Tigger. But we ain't got to... I realized that the first episode back... We didn't even <laughs> talk about that. Yeah. So, it was like, how was last year? How was your songs last year? Yeah. Right? <laughs> we didn't talk about what. Like, I don't know what you guys did for New Year's. Oh, right. I don't know what y'all did for Christmas. I missed the family Christmas thing because I was in the Yeah, dungeon. I know, I know, right? It's so I don't even know what happened there. So um, I guess I'll start with you. Wow, man. <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, how, how was your holidays? Right? My holidays is good, man. I got to go back home. Oh yeah, just the, just the Bahamas. Yeah, Bahamas. Anybody didn't know. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It felt really short though. It felt really short going back home. It felt like it was like, like you know when you start visiting family and you start doing the little house visits and going to like the little places you want to go. Those days go like, hmm. like it's nothing, right? Yeah. But it was yeah. good though. I got to do most of the things I wanted to do. See most of the people I wanted to see. You know, got to got to go to John Canoe. You know, got the family dinners. I see my grandmothers and that's what's important because they're getting age up in age right yeah and that that's that's the hardest part for me being over here and my family's over there and especially my, mm. my grandmother's getting old you know it, i always think about that anyway i'm getting too dark and <laughs> <laughs> no I, I i know what yeah. you mean man I, yeah. I know what you mean being away like remember in the summertime my grandma passed when i was in florida oh yes and yeah, i was right. like shoot you know what I mean? It's not it's like you just jump on the yeah, bus. Yeah, like you know, just freaking this glory <laughs> back, right? Yeah. It's a so fear, yeah, man. yeah, I know, I know what you're saying there. It's definitely a fair. So were you, were you there for New Year's? No, New Year's I was back here. I came back like on the 29th. Okay. But yeah, I was over here. I went to we just went to the little New Year's party. Was that when you, were you dancing on the speaker? Yeah. This guy shot a <laughs> <laughs> This guy shot a <laughs> That's what that I was. I'm trying to skip over that story, man. Like that. <laughs> So that, okay, so that was New Year's? No, that was New Year's, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Dancing on the speaker, yeah. I sent you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I sent you. Every New Year's, I don't know, man. I have a problem. Every New Year's, I feel like, I was, like I'm, I just drink to the limit, and I don't realize I'm drunk until, like, it's too late. It's just too late. You mean like, <laughs> you mean like when I went to the... Yes, oh, yes, like that, like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens, guys. It's just it's, it's too late. I'm too far to go. I don't realize how far I've been. And there's well, not even nothing you can do after that. It's, it's, it's like you're, like, <laughs> even if you stop drinking, yeah, it's, it's too late. It's you're o- there. It's you're done. Over. You're done. Food ain't going to help nothing. Not, nothing. No coffee, no, <laughs> wow. no water, nothing helping you. Yeah, I, good time, though. You know yeah. what I mean? I, you know, I, I don't see nothing wrong with having that once in a while. I, ha- I hardly remember that night. <laughs> People message me say, "Oh, you, it was your birthday party." <laughs> I was like, hey. oh, I know how that feels. And that's how that went. <laughs> but it was still good, man. New Year's was good, man. Nice, nice. It's good to start a new year, be back. You know, trying to get more focus this year. Any resolutions? I forgot to ask Tigger this. Any? I um, I just trying to like, I like like what you were saying, man. I'm trying to eat better. Get my credit score. Man. Oh my credit score. <laughs> That was, oh, that was yeah. my resolution yeah, this year, yeah. man. Stop yeah. like. But stop. then they get you. Remember, like we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now they're trying to, now they're trying to throw fifty grand at you. <laughs> like, oh, you're like, like, oh, here, take the this. limit. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> smart, this, bro. this is what got me here. Yeah, Leave yeah. Me alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't need no credit. They're like, no, yeah. no. We know your spending habits here. Oh, yeah. You need this. You need this. <laughs> you got no bad. I want to keep it like that. Yeah, they, yeah, they get you. Pre-approved for fifty. What? Yeah, easy. I know. <laughs> they just happened there all of a sudden. Yeah, half a second, I can think of all the stuff I can buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I can do it. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, I'm good. But that's a good resolution. Yeah, that's mine for this year for sure, man. Especially, I don't know. Everybody's talking about recessions coming. I don't know if it's true, but it's I'm trying to think future wise. You know what I mean? But that's where my mind's at this year. Stop. I mean, not don't stop spending, but stop that. You know, excessive. That, yeah. yeah, that. 
no need spending like buying fast food on the weekdays and all that stuff. Make food, man. Or, or <laughs> yeah, going yeah. up to get fast food. Yeah, on your way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> especially, always, especially nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. Oh, great! Don't start that, man. But then I go there. I got nuggets in my freezer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't hit like McDonald's, but still, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're there. But yeah, buying stuff. Yeah, like, like getting nuggets know, before pod. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I, I try know. to stop that too. I know, you <laughs> bring none. I'm glad. Like, 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 <laughs> I'm the nugget king. It's a come every pod. <laughs> I know, eat the nuggets. Eat nuggets. You know what's been getting me? My bank account, a little that I've been excessively spending on. These damn bubble tea. The man. bubbles. I know you're uh, you on that man. bubble tea stuff. Bubble teas, man. I love them. <laughs> But now that I'm, I'm cut, I cut old pop, trying to cut down on sugar, I'm getting them less sweet. But I, I found out I actually like the taste of the tea. So mm. without the sweetness, I'm still rocking it, right? That's good. Yeah. But um, yeah, excessive spending is. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what you. Do. Oh yeah. What about you? Okay. Uh, my New Year's, New Year's, so Christmas, 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 all that stuff. That was it was lovely, man. Like you said, you missed out on the family gathering that we usually have on Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah. That was good. It was it wasn't as many people as it normally is, but it was still that good family vibe, yeah, right? Because yeah. a lot of the time our family don't get to connect like that. We got a humongous family. If people yep. don't realize about us. You see, my last name was on the screen, Gannon. The humongous family that yes. we have, right? Yeah. So when we say like. A small family gathering that's maybe like 30 people yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean that, that's our small version right yeah true so that. but it was a good vibe good relaxing vibe i got to spend a lot of good time with the kids christmas itself like christmas day that kind of stuff it was more of like a everybody was kind of off doing their own thing a little bit smaller again uh not as many people at the house for uh christmas dinner but again it was still good vibes still good quiet relaxing vibes i mean no snow like Kids would have wanted, right? Uh, I'm a little bit of a kid on that. One. Like, yeah, I want to see people out there playing in the snow for Christmas Day. But uh, yeah, I miss the snow too. Man. Yeah, especially when I spent that money to get them new tires. <laughs> just, just bought snow tires because you see, I just got the new vehicle. Yeah, yeah. make sure I got them on. Yeah, ain't had a that, lick of snow. Yeah, it's been dry. Nothing. And I got a sled down there and then blow up ones for the kids to play <laughs> oh, on. Oh yeah, just sitting can't in the sled box, nowhere. Right? Just looking at it. Yeah. Like, okay, ain't going nowhere on that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, New Year's. New Year's was good. New Year's was good. I just went to a couple of fa- like spent some time with the family, spent some time with a couple of friends. Nothing too too big, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those moments where you kind of look at your watch and like, oh, it's twelve oh one. Happy New Year! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just didn't do the countdown yeah, really. Yeah. You just kind of just noticed that it was at that time. So yeah. that's, that's good because you're having enough fun not to even focus on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, I kept New Year's low key. Just spent it with, uh, I guess, my in-laws, you call. And um, it's funny. They started falling asleep at, like, 11, 11 15. <laughs> <laughs> when you was dancing on tables. Oh, my God. <laughs> we, we was falling asleep. You getting it in compared to the rest of them. I, I was like, okay. I was just, I was just trying to relax, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Other, oh, than that, other than that, just been working, man. Getting awesome. this working. Trying to build. Trying to build, yeah, right? Man. Yeah. Bring up yeah. those steps, right? Yeah. 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 Steps to success. Yeah. Yep, that's what we try trying here, too, eh? I like that for sure, bro. Well, that's good to hear. So, um, let's get into some topics. Uh, Rhythm and Flow Season 2 has been announced with Lotto, um, Ludacris, and DJ Khaled. Yeah. Replacing Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, and um, T.I. T.I. Yeah. as a new host. What do y'all think about that? I think it's an interest. It's an interesting trio, right? Because yeah. they all have a wide variety of experience in different things, right? When you think about someone like DJ Khaled, he has experience with bringing people together to help make a hit, right? Yeah. And knows how to market it. Knows what kind of what the audience wants to hear. Like, we the best. How long did that last in pop culture? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We had know. random people who don't even really listen to rap running around talking, but we the best. Yeah. <laughs> and then one really? knows another one. Yeah, another yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like um, he will be a really good addition to that to that panel, uh, to that trio, as he kind of knows how to step outside of that and connect with all the different artists from whether it's R&B, whether it's the pop music, those kind of things, and bring those into one collaboration hit so i feel like that would be really good and just with the connections that they all gather that's really good uh to have as someone who's part of that show 
um, I find Lotto adds a really good, unique vibe to it where she has already been on a reality show where she was competing against other people, showing yeah. her lyrical skills yeah, and things yeah. like that, she did having to hone that. her performances, stuff like that. She's going to notice stuff about that performer while they're performing that the other people might not pick up on, yeah. right? right. Um, and and mm -hmm. Ludacris. Uh, Ludacris was kind of the wild card for me there. I wasn't really sure like what he would add to it, but... He's a vet. He's a vet. Yeah. Lyrical vet as well, like because he 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 can, he can spit, like no, oh, yeah. no one can oh, put yeah. that past him. Yeah, yeah. And he also knows how to cross over, because he made music that was like anthems, anthem songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? He is timeless songs. Yeah, and yeah. he knows how to to uh, add that production value, kind of like how I think back to like the big arms and the big the big heads in the videos, yeah. and like kind of going back to that Buster Rhymes feel of and videos. And also he had artists under his wing before. Exactly. So he knows, like, uh, yep. Disturbing the Peace. Yeah. Uh, Chingy, was, did he introduce yeah. Chingy? Was it, was it Chingy? It I may think, have yeah. been, yeah, 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 yeah it may have been Chingy. And then, yeah. uh... I know it's Titty Boy. He's Titty yeah, Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Shauna. Yeah. And, yeah. um, yeah. I, I think it's... I actually think this, uh, cast of hosts is a step up. Yeah. Not, not, not that I'm saying that T.I., and then wasn't but good. Yeah. I'm just saying where as like um this has a little bit more experience mm. where like when they did it, Chance was still new. Yeah. And Cardi yeah, yeah. was still newer. Yeah. And then you had the vet with T I. Yeah. Right? Where I see T I and Ludacris kind of vet status. Yeah. yeah. So they got their counterparts. But um DJ Khaled, way more experienced than what Chance oh, yeah. had, right? Yeah. But Lotto is kind of comparable to Cardi. Cardi. Yeah. Because they're probably both the same spots in their careers yeah. when they did this. So I think that Khaled is adding this just more rally and making it more, they're just, just more behind it. Yeah. More hip hop experience. Yeah. And plus, like, um, Terror Squad, New York. Well, this like, he, you know, it, like they, the uh, other. Cardi reps New York, right? Yeah. But she was a newer person. This yeah. is someone that worked with Nas, worked with the yeah. ground from New York. Well, he, so, he comes from that old vibe of digging in the crates, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he's been around. Like, he's established himself for multiple years. Like, even if you go back and watch some of, like, the old school videos with Fat Joe and some of the other people from New York, he's in the videos. Yeah. Go back yeah. and watch Shotters. He's in it. I think. Oh, yeah, Shotters, yeah. <laughs> I always tell people that, that DJ Khaled is in that... And that was a classic movie, yeah. you know, where everybody don't think it's a classic. It's like it's like a Caribbean classic. Oh, it's a it classic. The, it's I a classic. It the, I call it the Caribbean Scarface. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what video is he holding the umbrella for, uh, Fat Joe? Make it rain. Okay, make it oh, rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's he's been there. So yeah. I think he has experience. That's the only reason why I say that this is like a step up. Mm. And they already announced that Eminem's going to be a guest. Yeah. On on one of the episodes, a guest judge. Last season they did have Big Boy, which is. Yeah. You know, that's a legend, too. Oh, absolutely. And uh, they had Killer Mike. And who else? They had Nipsey, I think, on one episode, Yes, they too. did. Yeah. They did. They had Nipsey, too. So it's interesting to see what guests they have this time. Yeah. Also, yeah. like that clip I showed you of the battle, like, last season, those people could spit. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you good. know what I mean? So I'm looking for I'm anything that showcases spitting when they're going to battle. Yeah. And I'm, I'm here for it, man. I can't yeah. wait. And especially when they... When you see further down they go, they started helping them make songs. Mm -hmm. And you could see the... It, the only thing wrong with Rhythm and Flow is that it took so long for season two. Mm, like, yeah. I think... I can't remember what year it came out, but it was... At least, it, was it was a while like, ago. 19 or something like that, wasn't it? It, it was a little whack yeah, then, yeah. yeah, yeah it was, it was I've been waiting ago. for this season for a while, so mm -hmm. yeah. I'm glad to see this. The other thing that... Luda also adds to it is where he has that crossover into film aspect so he's going to help be able to kind of work on like that development of of who you are your public appearance that kind of stuff you'll oh, yeah. talk about that stuff oh and like you said with uh about his videos because remember they do if, if they mirror yeah. what they did last season there is going to be a portion where they do a video yeah ludicrous will definitely have some oh, yeah. input on visuals oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, what you what you think about the? I agree with you. I agree with both of you guys. I think it is a step up based on the the cast and you know, like the chosen facilities. Like it's everybody. I like Lotto, man. Lotto is kind of she she is not overrated or underrated. I feel like she's just not in the spotlight enough. 
she's a she's a she's a good rapper like she oh yeah like yes she's done a lot of songs that like when she was working with gucci and all that i say bro these this this, this i can listen to this she can spit i can yeah. listen to this <laughs> yeah like you know like i always talk bad about meg but i i can listen to lotto i can't listen to meg <laughs> like you know what i mean Meg, like, I feel Meg, like Meg is the same though. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like repetitive stuff. Yep. But Lotto is actually like, you know, yeah. spitting in. I think she used to work with, uh, I forget, what's, she was around when Jazzy Faden was doing stuff, like producing and stuff. Oh, I remember Jazzy Faden. Yeah, I think she was somewhere in that group or around it or whatever from a while. Yeah. So that's why she has that knowledge of the game, like in, in the rap. And so I agree with you guys. It's a step up from the last cast. Not this in Cardi. Cardi is still cry like she's oh uh, yeah she's sing yeah. us to death all the time but i know i to this mo- to this day i can't believe that she only got one album out. yeah, that, yeah. that's wild that's <laughs> real wild that. to think about and we yeah. know i know and we know her like this yeah like we put we, we put her a lot of people put her in the same level as nikki yeah which i don't think is fair because of when you put bodies at work yeah mm. and and you know accolades and you know what do they say you know earn your stripes pay your dues she she ain't been through the what nikki been through she she nah, yeah. she, ain't, she ain't been but this as far as celeb goes they are on the same level oh yeah, yeah. they they they're taking yeah. shots anytime you're taking shots at each other whether you did all these accolades or not if, if nikki's acknowledging her yeah then Nikki's helping put her on the same yeah, level as Nikki. And did Nikki take shots first? Because I feel like that how might be how that situation went. I don't think Cardi B singled out. That's Nikki. a good question. I can't remember. How so it that's started. that's a bit of a different, right? Like so, if Cardi if Cardi would have shot shots at Nikki and Nikki didn't say anything, oh, it'd then, be yeah. a whole different conversation. Yeah, yeah, we right? wouldn't put them in the same conversation then. But you know, but if you, but if you're the top taking a shot at someone who's yeah. just coming in, well, that just elevates them. As soon as you pay them attention, you're elevating them, man. Yeah. As soon as you paid him attention. I think Nikki did take shots first. I think it was something about not giving homage to her. Like mm-hmm. her how she passed away or whatever. But I think that's what I think that I think that's how it started and it just started to <laughs> that's the back and forth that started from I yeah. bet this it it's probably over nothing really. Just they men the men well, I shouldn't say they men be beefing because offset don't be saying much, but yeah. Nikki's boyfriend be Right. You see those videos yeah. he put out and stuff? Listen, he got put back on host arrest because of that video. He was waiting <laughs> yeah, for Offset yeah. outside. <laughs> Offset was on a plane somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah. That's, I but know. one thing I did hear about Lotto was that um, that she, when she won that competition, she didn't take whatever the prize was for it. Okay. Uh, okay. So she kind of stood on integrity of her music. So that's also going to add to the show as well because she's going to know if this yeah. is something that is worthwhile for these artists to kind of take whatever money or whatever contract or whatever performance that they're being offered for it, right? Mm-hmm. I think it was a performance being offered as well as two two hundred fifty thousand for the prize. What's the competition called? I don't even know. I don't even know. But I'm not sure what the competition that she won yeah. last time, but I think that's the prize for this one for the oh yeah for the rhythm and flow. I think it's two hundred fifty thousand. Yes, I did see that. And then it was like a, a live performance at something. I can't remember. I can't the remember what was, it was, so. but I do remember the two fifty. Yeah. But um, cool. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. So, um, what do y'all guys think about the Billboard's 50 Greatest Rappers of All Time list and Jaw being mad that he ain't on it? I mean... Personally, I'll tell you what I think. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. we can cook on this one. Because I, I, I'm going to say this. Number 50 was Rick Ross. Oh, gosh. Ja Rule should have been on there before Rick Ross. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, man. You disagree with that? Ja had an I, no, error. I, no, <laughs> I don't disagree with Ja being mad. He's not on it. I, I, he had an error. Yeah. And I, and when you have an error, you should be on that list. That's my opinion. Yes, he should. He, he should definitely he, be on that he list. He had an error. Like, heck, Juvenile should have been on that list. If Juvenile was on the list either. I gotta look through the list. No. <laughs> Juvenile is a beast, man. Yeah. And Juvenile is just go. Cool. Sorry, sorry. Because we talked about it. One of yeah. the things I was really disappointed with, and no shots. But Nikki shouldn't be top ten of all time. All time. Dmx nah. was twenty one. Dmx is twenty one. Bus Rhymes was high twenty. Yeah, like, yeah. And Nikki was top ten. Yeah. Well, Billboard was. What, what, what is Billboard looking at though? They're looking at sales. Looking and that's at fucking... that's the thing where Ja Rule. Yeah. Was mad because yeah. he said it is Billboard. 
yeah. if you're going by sales, how can I not be on it? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> he had an era, man. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying. He, he had an oh, yeah. era. So that's why if Ja ain't on it. Yeah, it gets a little. That just shows but, and Rakim was on it. Then shows, it can't be sales. It shows the strength of 50, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, like, 50 took him on the middle. And 50 part. was kind of high. What would Ja's career be like without 50? I think 50 was like. If 50 never better. attacked him. Like, where, where do you think Ja I think 50 was in the teens also. Yeah. I think yeah. he was in the teens. He was above Method Man, DMX, a bunch of Prodigy from Mob Deep wasn't on the list. Tyler Black, Quali didn't make it. T- yeah, but um, Yez and Bay, if I'm saying it right, yeah. most deaf. Yeah, he was yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. But um, yeah, Talib didn't make it. Wait, there's a lot that didn't make yeah. it that I'm like, like Prodigy, come on, man. Big L wasn't on it. Cam- and, and if you go and if you and if they want to argue it's billboard and sales and stuff, well, where's Mace? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cameron Russell wasn't on. The yeah, list. I, was, I wasn't even really impressed by the top three. They had Jay, they had Jay Z, Kendrick, and then Nas. Let's switch the order around at least, you know, because I don't feel like you can put a gap between Jay Z and Nas like that. Put Kendrick first if that's the case. And, and you know what? Yeah, I don't funny. think Jay-Z deserves that top spot. That's my personal with opinion. Those, Y'all can argue with me on that fire. all you want. I, I, <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> I, I agree with what you just said. I'm, I'm just in my mind trying to think, wh- where would I put? I know I, I would put Kendrick one hmm. with what they had. I'm going based off of yeah. what they had. Yeah. If we would rearrange the top three, I'd have Kendrick at one, and I can't... I want, I want to say because I like Nods better. Hmm. It's two. But then I think about the accomplishment, accomplishment, sorry, mm. and I'm thinking Jay. Yeah. But then I'm remembering they battled and one person murdered the other. And that's mm. where I, yeah. I'm leaning for Nas. Mm. <laughs> Nas Ether just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it's timeless to this day. Yeah. That's why Jay Z stopped, stopped. He changed his whole record name, <laughs> label, remember? Ain't Rockefeller no more. Rock Nation. Because <laughs> what did he say? He said, I rock hoes, you rock fella. Yeah, He's you like, rock fellas. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they ain't Rockefeller no more, is it? <laughs> you, heard, you heard the drink challenge with uh, Memphis Bleeps talking about that? No. Nah. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're sitting around, chilling or whatever. And they had Ether, right? Mm-hmm. And then dude was ready to fight. Like, dude was like, <laughs> ready to go strap up. Then they had they <laughs> Yo, it's like, they're sitting there chilling, they eat that, it's like, yo, they're ready to, like, I, I don't blame them, man. Yes. <laughs> oh, she used that pox sample at the beginning? Mm. Yeah, man. That's, that's another uh-huh. thing as well. I don't know how that sits with you guys, but to have somebody who's higher than pox, mm. who is a pox worshiper, and I mean Kendrick Lamar, because Kendrick Lamar does worship pox. Well, uh, kind of messes with me a little bit. Uh, see, I, I know what you're saying. I, I don't agree with it because I think that everyone has to have influences. Like Pac would have had people that influenced him in rap, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. And I bet you he's past them <laughs> on any list. You know what I mean? The people that were... Oh, yeah. The people that he was like Kendrick is to him. Yeah. He would have passed them. So I think that you'd understand that that's mm. just how things go. And as an artist, this is me back when I used to rap and I was an artist. Mm-hmm. I want the next generation to top my generation. Oh yeah, that's why. That's, mean, that's yeah. why we all. I all, I'm always in these arguments with Pac and Biggie still being held up because I I see how he evolved and I see stuff got better. Yeah. And I just was like, you know, I feel if we don't move past certain things, we're not pushing the culture forward. Mm-hmm. We're being nostalgic. You know yeah. what I mean? See the, the way I'm looking. It'd be like at wearing it. saggy pants in your sixties, right? It's just Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some people still do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's the <laughs> <That's what happens. laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well when what I mean like that is I'm thinking of like that cultural impact, rapping skills, everything like that, and just like the amount of hits that are out there between Pac and Kendrick. I don't think that list is as close as people oh. think. I think there's more money being generated nowadays. So if you want to talk about accomplishments in that form, about monetary value that can be made off an album, 
I think that, that we can have that conversation. And, and you know what? Another thing, because this is a similar relationship or type of influence. You know, Eminem said all the time, mm -hmm. Red Man was his crazy influence, and he's way above Red Man on yeah. that list, right? Yeah, that is true. I think Red Man and Tretch were his two, two of his, he always mentions were his influences. Yeah. But you can definitely say that Eminem probably has more hits than Red Man. Like yeah, actual yeah. like yeah, yeah, industry yeah. style hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And but I, you, I would, I would still just, say that about Pac. I still think he has more than Kendrick. Pac Ooh. more than Kendrick? In, hits? Like Ooh. industry hits? Not like like just a full album itself? I don't know. That's hard to say. I, 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 I can't agree with that. I think we'd have, I think I'd have we, to, I think I'd we have got to, to pull sheets on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> yep. uh, that's why I, I, I think I, Kendrick has more. I, I, you disagree or agree? I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd say that because he had more time. Yeah, he that's what it does. He definitely had more chance too. How many albums Kendrick got? I think six, be six, five or six. Yeah, that that's the only way I have to say. Yeah, it was. It's and that's and I and that's what it is. I think it's the time. Mm -hmm. That's why Pac Pac is as high as Kendrick and Jay Z and Nas. Right. Like, I think yeah. it's the time period. They're still. They're still the freaking, what do you call it, the forefathers of the game. People oh, are yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's, the, that's like, yeah. it, actually, you can compare them to, because like you said with Jay-Z, always biting off of Biggie, because he worshiped like Biggie, right? Yeah. yeah. But he got way more hits than, Jay-Z got way more hits than Biggie, because yeah. he had way more time to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. You that know what I mean? True. It's, it's like, it's almost unfair, because... All right, are you proving your argument? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost unfair. It's, I mean, it's unfair to Pac and Biggie mm -hmm. to even put them in their competition because they, they're at a handicap. They can't put out more hit. Actually, well, yeah, so speaking I mean, of, like, uh, I mean, <laughs> can you say that? <laughs> I, 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 that, that that's a good segue. Because <laughs> Cat, Cat Williams is working on a Tupac album. Why are we talking about Cat Williams, man? <laughs> <laughs> I know you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a capper, man. He's ca hey, man, he's even got a Tupac album? He's, he is. Yeah. And Cardi B's going to be on it. We're talking about in the car. I don't think that's good. I don't think Pac would have rocked with Cardi. I think Pac would have seen Cardi as a girl at the club shaking her ass. He would have probably threw some dollars at her, but I don't think he'd be like less than the No, song. I think he's more of a. He rock with an RB singer. Especially like, where. At the end of his career, where he was trying to get away from the thug shit and get back to yeah, his box stuff. Yeah. But you also have to look at how she came out. Look at look at what her first song was compared to all the other female you artists. Call that who came black? Out. Yeah. Who gonna do what to me? <laughs> that whole song was that was a gangster song for a female True. when she came out. Yeah. But she was still a stripper though. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just seeing how I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll never know. I mean, but I guess we'll get to see what it sounds like. I'll give Cardi a credit. She can switch it up when she needs to. Yeah. It's not all the same. But I'll tell you one thing that I never, never said in my life. I wonder what Cardi and Pop sound like together. Never. Never. <laughs> never. Never. Yeah. Kendrick and Pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that has Nip to Nipsey and Pop. That has yeah. to happen yeah. as well. Where is the cat getting these pock freaking? Because it's because him and Sugar are like homies. Uh, so he's getting so Sugar still has some in. The, sorry. Yeah. Sugar still has some, some, some still in the vault. He must. Yeah. Wow. Well, and the, the reason why they are homies is because they there was a meeting gonna happen and Cat didn't want to actually meet Sugar because he was in his mind he was riding for Pac and thinking that Sugar had something to do with Pac's death. Oh, okay. Right? And that actually made Suge like him more. Be like, oh, well, he's actually like, he riding for pocket. You don't even know the guy. And yeah, other yeah. people who were his friends, like the Outlaws and Snoop and other things mm -hmm. like that, because this is right out of Suge's moat, were saying and these guys are all taking pictures with the enemy and all going to do music with the enemy. Right? Mm -hmm. But he was looking at Cat like, I don't know this guy. He don't know me, but he loves Pac. He has a love for Pac, and he knows because the rumor is saying that I had something to do with Pac. Yeah. So he's like, F shook. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a, a different level of ride because I was I, I would be very worried in any other circumstance where it's like a comedian is taking over producing one of the legends hip hop albums. That sounds yeah. suspicious all on its own right there, right? But when yeah. there's a certain type of love for that artist, yeah, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with it. Not fully comfortable, but a little bit more. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, like I'll check it. Yeah. 
Uh, and I'll I'll check where open air is. The thing is, is that another thing I'm worried about is that um, bunch of features. Yeah, it's going to be a bunch of features to fill in. They can't have that much pox stuff left. And like I'm you said, I hope they u- reuse they in verses. Mm, yeah. And check this, and this is what I think, is that um, the fires, the, you know, the best pop verses, leftover verses, were probably the first ones released. Yeah, so the more albums think. come, the worse it's probably man. more b roll yeah. b reels of stuff that pop probably never would have wanted out. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you, everyone spits whack verses. And, it's, and uh, rappers are like comedians where they might take stuff from that that they liked from that verse and use it in another one and build on it and yeah, make, a make a better, better one. Yeah. Like, and, you know what I mean? You got to realize that people, some people are like, yo, Pop recorded all this music because he thought he was going to pass. They didn't want music to be there. That's one way to look at it. Another way is that he had a lot of stuff he didn't want out because it was no good. And these engineers just kept hold of it. And but we'll see. I mean, we'll never know. Yeah. Pac would never be like, no, I didn't approve this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? One thing I was wondering if it's kind of like that that Kanye West effect, right? Because if you look at any of any artists who's done music with Kanye West, they, and they talk about it in the interviews, they're like, we have like five or six songs. It's in the talk that we recorded, did them, and then it was like it was like an exercise for him. All right, now we're gonna get on to doing the other stuff. This is why his albums continuously get pushed back. You know what? He's working through so much stuff. Yeah. Think about all the albums, the songs that you hear yeah. about Kanye doing that yeah. never actually see never the light release. of day. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I heard this that a lot of artists do this. It's they do it to um, kind of get through to the creative mode. Mm. Like a lot of stuff is just is just trash that they get out there, and you're like, because you might get writer's block or whatever, but they just keep writing and get through it, right? And then they do it, but then they get in the groove, and that's when the good stuff starts coming out. But the thing is, is that people still recorded and kept that stuff that you didn't yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, that, that could be it. That could be it. But, but we'll see. What else? Another thing uh, I, I just want to say, sorry, no. um, is that's going to suck is that, like, 96 is when he passed? And if he's... Yeah, 96. It's, it's 2024. So... Man, is that almost thirty years? Um, That's is <laughs> going to be it, 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 his verses 30. have to be very general mm. to to not be dated. Listen, you got me going back to that Dave Chappelle skit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I made this a lot. <laughs> I was thinking about it too when you guys talking about Pac. <laughs> Dave had the best skit, man. Yeah. That was so yeah. funny in the club. Yeah, like, Saying something just, <laughs> and then just happened. Just the Pac just came out. Let me start describing the club. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this also could be a potential <laughs> humongous payday for whoever's helping Cat produce that, just with the attention that Cat has on him right now. I think that's why, too. That's a connection with what's happening. She probably said, yo, it's time to do that thing that we talked about, because you hot right now. Everybody got eyes on you. Your yeah, next yeah, move yeah. is what's really going to... Yeah. I just hope there's no Pac and Cat Williams ludicrous diss on there. Cause that, that'll make I me just a little hope, bit upset. I just hope Cat Williams ain't trying to rap at all. Did you hear that diss he did to Luda? I, I heard snippets of it, and I was like, what is this? It didn't even sound like a, a recording. It sounded like he was on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. I mean, he, he is a comedian, so he can write. So he can write some good jabs and stuff. Some, oh, he can but he can't together. rap worth nothing. Nah, nah. He can't. He's, he's, he, he, he put that mic. And someone, I read somewhere that he was, at one point, was... Trying to become a rapper. Oh yeah, he was with Dipset. There was a whole chain in him and everything. Now I know his, why. One of his stand-ups. And I'm, now <laughs> I know why he didn't become a rapper. Because I heard him rap and Cat Williams Cat can't rap. Put a chain on him. Yeah, they put, <laughs> a, they put, a, they put a Dipset chain on Cat Williams. Yes. That just a, that's just that's, that's a mascot move. Yeah. <laughs> this is a mascot move. He's trying to like. <laughs> there is. Yeah, he can't rap. <laughs> so on, on an R and B tip, you guys listen to TGT. No, what's why do we, what's TGT? What's that? That's Tyrese, Genuine, and a Tank. Mm. They have a group. Yeah, it's oh, super, yeah, that was I a saw you guys and poster, they, right? And they, oh, they had a song before. Oh, yeah. They had an album before. Yeah, didn't they have one or two, one or two albums? Or? Um, that's a good question. I'm not, sh- what I'm not album sure. Is this? What's the hit song that I... I don't know. I thought I was doing questions, but... Never heard the album. It's R&B stuff. Anyways, if you like R&B, you should check, you should check it out. You know, they all can sing. They can sing? Yeah. 
Yeah. But I heard no yeah. song where they're like hit like. Oh man, people have been waiting for them to get back together forever. Yeah. It's uh, almost as long as I was waiting for Joe to see get back together. And then they did an album, <laughs> and it it was like, this ain't it. <laughs> it was better when I was just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. yeah. Was it? Do we know why they waited so long? Like, was it label stuff? Was it? Like oh, it was, stuff it was them, them stuff. It was them, oh, it was them it, stuff. It, it, um, Junior Mind showing up to gigs drunk. Yeah. And messing mm-hmm. up the performances. And stuff. I mean, <laughs> he, he ain't got those dance moves like he used to. Nah. I, was <laughs> some, I see some clips online, and I was. Uh, uh, I know. That's done. <laughs> but I think it should be it, if all three of them are on board, and it says like there, I think it's going to be a dope album. I never heard them. I Man, you got you got to get up on them. Yeah, TGT. TGT. They had uh, a hit. They had a hit though. I can't remember the name. I can't yeah. remember one song with all three of them is a hit. Oh man, there had to have been no yeah. hits. They didn't, don't. They didn't uh, stay no. separate. I, like they, I can't. I can't think of like I remember a video with them all in like black suits or something like that. Yeah, yeah. they gotta stay separated. <laughs> <laughs> I remember no one hit. Oh shit! <laughs> no, I'm not one. Do what? any do any of them individually have new music out right now? Like, have they like when was the last time any of them have released like a new song? I don't think any of them like are. Tank could be the last one. I I think they yes I think Tank did something re- kind of recently. Like it just wasn't on a big yeah. label and nah, stuff. It, was just... it wasn't even that long ago that Tyrese and Jingwan did stuff. You you can find stuff out there, yeah. but you got to dig because they're not on majors. Apparently, mm-hmm. they're getting this new album supposed to has there's deals out there is what i'm trying to say for this so um yo next episode we're going to come back and we're going to talk about tgt because i know they got some good music he's going laton's going to listen to this (laughs) i'll find the album and send it to him i never heard a request for tgt in my life so i know they ain't got no hits (laughs) i never heard nobody say yo put that new tgt that, that That's because <laughs> yeah, it would have been that new. Put out, put out old TGT. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to look it up. <laughs> I got listen. I listen to the album. Let me get TGT. <laughs> Let me see if that's even on Spotify, man. Cause yeah, right? yeah, it definitely TGT. is. TGT. You can check. Um, guess what's not on Spotify though? That was supposed to come out on Friday, and got pushed back. The Kanye oh, West Kanye, and uh, Ty yes, Dolla Sign yeah. album. Uh, yeah, Vultures? Yeah. No, that yeah, was a Vultures. single. Is that the name oh, of the album? Oh, that was Vultures, yeah. yeah. The, the name of the album is Vultures. Uh, it's Vultures, yeah. Vultures. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's gonna, it's coming on February 9th, though. So I got a new date. That's what he said. Whoa, whoa, sorry. That's what he yeah, said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that guy. <laughs> it's announced to come on February 9th. That'll be coming right on Christmas Day, y'all. <laughs> 2025. <laughs> 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 Made alongside God, DT. You know, Kanye? <laughs> God, man. Look at yeah, that. that going to be another one that's pushed back. They got, oh, what, 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 what are the top songs? Three Kings is the name of the album. The top song is probably Sex Never Felt Better. I think I Need is one that I heard. Um, yeah, man, check them out, because I know you're on that R&B tip. Yeah. yeah, with the Kanye album, do you feel like it's uh, more of creative process that's slowing it down, or like sample clearing, because I know he uses a lot of samples. That could be it. That's definitely what Sample it is. clear, definitely, because he, he was already playing China. samples of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I know there's some, some, some talk about like a Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj didn't clear a sample that, or, she, yeah, she or, she or, or a reverse on the track, she, she wasn't clearing she it or something. She didn't clear it. Said she don't have Kanye no more. She said yeah. that on, I think, a Joe interview or whatever, but she didn't, she didn't say she ain't clearing it. What she, what'd he do to her? I don't know what it is. Oh, the way the way I heard it was something about like not necessarily anything to diss Kanye, but the song's a couple years old. Oh. So she's like, I'm in a different lane, different pocket oh, now. Like, uh, it doesn't. I'm releasing a new album here soon, so it doesn't make sense to have uh, a song from a few years ago coming out at the same time as oh. I'm releasing new music. I thought she just don't like him, man. <laughs> I mean, that, that might be that might be. No, the, I don't this, know. This might be no, political no. I got the assumption that it was. I didn't. I didn't read into it. I heard she wasn't clearing it. I was like, damn, Nikki said, after that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you hear about, oh, well, well that's, I said just, that's just about Drake. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? What's about Drake? That's just about Drake and, oh. and Kanye. Yeah. Are they still beefing? The thing is about that beef, man, they shook and all that. And then Drake said in a song. Then they did a I did, song? I mean, a concert together? He did, did yeah. a concert, yeah. The yeah. Larry Hoover concert. And then I think it was on. Her loss, Jake said, I only did that stuff. I'm, I was only hanging with the Oscar because of Jay Prince. 
<laughs> he said it in the song. Yeah, yeah. So oh, it's yeah. like he does. He said he basically did that for Jay Prince. He didn't do that for like he I wanted. To I do wonder. That. I wonder if he said that in response to Kendrick. Remember Kendrick said that the he must not be as mature because oh. he, he, <laughs> he didn't. He I didn't. forget. I forget the line where he's talking about uh, Drake and. Kanye getting back together. He's like, what's going on there? You know, I, I guess I'm not that mature because he... Oh, yeah, I think I remember that, though. Up. It was on his Kendrick's last album. I forget what song it was. I, I do remember that verse, though. But, yeah. Yeah. It's... I wonder <laughs> if Drake was like, no, no, it ain't like that. I, <laughs> I don't mess with you. <laughs> Jay Prince. I had to. Yeah, Jay Prince, yeah. Because Jay Prince, I don't know who he is, but I know that he got... Like yeah, he's some something the most of, uh, pull uh, in hip hop. He, yeah. he benefit. The only person I see come at him is Whack One Hundred. <laughs> it's the only other person I see talk nasty about him. Everybody else holds him in high regard. Yeah, he has some type of connections. That's, must... that's Drake's mob ties that he's be talking about. I think. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. Did y'all see the um, the video of Snoop? Fake Snoop. I see. Uh, that, that, that was priceless. <laughs> <laughs> Fake Snoop on the play. Oh, before I talk about that. I want to say, um, get well soon. She ain't never going to see it, but maybe she will. The Snoop's daughter, we yes. she had a stroke. Yeah, um, yeah. Recently. yeah. Only 24 years old. But apparently she had lupus, but she oh. stopped taking her medication and started doing, like, herbal, like, remedies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if that's related. Could be. Yeah. Who knows? But uh, anyways, hope she's feeling better now. Yeah, but yeah as, here, take care. But as far as fake Snoop, that's that's funny, because uh, apparently some, something like that happened to my brother. Eh? Uh, I was just supposed to say, like, if that happened to one of us, are we going with it? Is your buddy going with it and egging so, it on? Um, <laughs> my, uh, someone thought my brother was Moish Chestnut. <laughs> I can see it too. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, put him a picture on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Moish Chestnut. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I gotta see I this. Think... He tall, dark, and bald. Yeah. Oh, you never met mine. No, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It, you never it, met him. It, it could be oh, believable. Could be, well, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forget the whole situation, but that, I, that's <laughs> what they said. That. <laughs> but <laughs> if I was in that situation, I, I'd do what your boy did. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd hope it didn't come out. Yeah. Because, like, let her have her moment. She's have, She just met Snoop. <laughs> let her go home. <laughs> she going to live that out? Yes. Let her go home curious. with her picture of Snoop. Man. Why the internet got to ruin it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let her... Go on with her fake stew. It, yeah, he said her his cousin or her yeah, homeboy. Co- yeah, yeah, he, he co- read on the post. He said, "He said, you know, I'm instigating this." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, "Yeah, yeah, taking the pictures. Got let other people come up and take pictures with, with the." Yeah, other oh, people yeah. come up too, cuz. Well, yeah, I mean, this is on a flight. Ain't no one pulling up their phones and googling. Like, this, 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 really? <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, "That ain't even stew." That only look like Snoop yeah, Light. Yeah, I even see it look like just skinny, I mean, tall black guy <laughs> with glasses on. I mean, Snoop. Does, does Snoop fly on those kind of planes? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm checking. Like, wait a minute. Got to buy a commercial all of a sudden. Yeah, and coach. He, he <laughs> like, yeah, go, just also, like they're chilling. Also, like, wasn't she like worked for the airline? I think <laughs> yeah, she you know who's on the flights. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a little that's a little off, bro. Yeah. She was like he's undercover or something. Well, maybe yeah, he's undercover. But, but you got to you got to think. You know, she might not know Snoop's real name. Yeah, true. No uh, one's tickets. Uh, 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 ticket ain't going to say Snoop Dogg on that, right? That's true. That's true. Yeah, so Calvin. yeah, <laughs> that's, true, that's true. You know, what I mean, it wouldn't. That'd be funny if <laughs> instead of using your like, <laughs> don't even use your government no yeah. more. Tickets <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> No, so so you know, shoot us some bail on that one. She yeah. might not have known because of that. <laughs> oh man! But um, I had that happen to me one time. What? Well, who was you? I was uh, I was Easy E for um, Halloween. <laughs> 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 I swear, I thought I was a celebrity, man. I was in the dorm. People was like, "Yo, can I take, take can I take a picture with you?" <laughs> Just like I saw pizza corn. People was like, "Yo, can I take a picture with you?" Like. <laughs> They know I was an easy E, of course. But I, was like, I guess your costume was just good. It was like, like, one time on a flight, it happened to me too, man. I was coming from the Bahamas. The plane was like basically empty. Yeah. And nobody was sitting in my row. So they must have thought I bought out the oh, row. Yeah, you, said, you thought you was that they guy. They must have thought I know. Seriously, it happened to me, dog. I was going from Bahamas to Toronto. They must have thought I was like doing something in the Bahamas. I must have thought I bought out the row. Because the plane was like empty, man. 
I never seen the plane on MTV. It was like a long time ago, long time ago. I probably came back at a weird time, probably boxing or something. Yeah. Empty. All you know, the store just comes. Are you a celebrity or something? I was like, no. Like, what? Not? I, I was. Like, well, that I would be my answer. I know. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I was just thinking about the time. Sure bro. am. I was just chilling. Like, I was like, what you mean? What you mean? <laughs> Yeah, I'll sign it. I'll sign it. What, what do you need signed? <laughs> I, I'm trying to rest here, man. I'm trying to rest. <laughs> I could get away with Bow Wow. What? You couldn't be no Bow Wow. I could get away with Bow Wow, man. I could do a little Bow Wow. Bow Wow, his head's too, like, almost oval shaped. <laughs> 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 Y'all think you look like Bow Wow? <laughs> Medium Bow Wow. <laughs> Not yeah, a little bow wow. But I'm happy you can for it though. <laughs> that's 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 Sorry, Jacob Chico was on this? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to pull up the I list, had, you know. I was trying to pull up. There was up. something I had to look at when I was on it. Just give me the... Uh, I was trying to pull it up. Something but I agree with you. Bow, really Bow was doing the up. list, too. Bow is underrated. He had... He had Top he had, 50, Oh, yeah, Jadakiss, number 46. Oh. Can we talk about that, please? <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Bro, I just think Billboard ain't it, man. Like... Like what people always say, like a lot of a lot of songs get on Billboard because who they're connected with and the labels and all that. Like Billboard is just one, not one of those paid for spots, man. Yeah. That's what I think. That's what I was gonna say later, but all right, you know what? I'm going. I'm going. But Jadakiss should be higher. I agree. I'm Jadakus bringing it. It's ridiculous, right? <laughs> Jadakiss is a freaking beast. Well, let's just some people can know for the record. I'm going to say the whole list. Oh, man. You know he's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to have some good laughs here. All right. So at number 50, and they got Rick Ross. He's too low. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and he should be higher. <laughs> are, you, are you just, are you clowning? Nah, or you I, think clown, I mean, 50 of all time. I you think know. Ricky should be on? I think, I think he should be on the list. I think he yeah. should be on the you list. You should? I think yeah. he, he, he. You don't think there's 50 he, people he, better than him? Well, maybe there is, but he did a lot for Miami, I feel. I feel like he really... So did Pitbull. And let's put this over Pitbull. the gate. <laughs> yeah. Pitbull did a lot, too. So the Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy, mm. too. He ain't on the list. But Rick Ross did a little bit more of Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy is a veteran. I give it to Trick Daddy. He was... I think Trick Daddy kind of sparked it, though. Yeah. Mm. He, yeah, he did, did spark that did. southern... You know, charisma and uh, flow. I think he did. Like, well, the Miami flow. Yeah. He did spark that. He did. You're That's right. what I mean. Yeah. And Take we it should, to the house. We Take should put this out there while, before we go through this list. This is no hate on any individual artist that's on the list. We're hating on the <laughs> Billboard selected list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Billboard, they fucked up. All right, so number 49, Reverend Run from Run DMC. See, I, I'm not experiencing that in that era. That was... It is a, that's a, that's pioneer era, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, it, it's one of those, without him... You don't, yeah, you don't get, you don't get yeah. all the other stuff. Yeah. You gotta give him respect. Yeah. And then one of the biggest crossover hits with Walk This Way. With the yeah. Aerosmith, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. That right. was a humongous hit. That's, I'm pretty sure some of their songs still get radio play at certain times yeah. of the it year, right? To. So I, I, I think he might be kind of low for, for what he did. Like, because they even said that impact is part of what they put on here. If it impact. They said impact too? Mm. Yep. They said. Uh, I didn't know they clarified how they made the list. Um, the yeah, weren't they like the, one of the first hip hop groups to get like a clothing brand deal? Adidas? Okay, Should, so yeah. they said in determining the rankings, Billboard, oh, and five editorial teams opted for. First, to look, uh, they limit the rap arenas in North America, so that's why it's only North Americans. Oh, that's why Slick Rick wasn't on it, and no reggaeton and stuff like that. From there, they took into account the following criteria: 
not in any particular order. Body of work, which is achievements, mm-hmm. which is like charted singles, albums, gold, platinum certifications, and all that. Okay. Um, that'd be keeping for Jaw more. Jaw should be on this yeah. if this is one of the criteria. Cultural impact and influence. So how the artist's work uh, fostered the drama's evolution. Uh, yeah. Longevity. Okay. Yeah. Um, Javi, that's why. Yeah, uh, both yeah. of those things, you, or both of those things you just said, that awesome lyrics, job. yeah, and flow. So those those are the main things. So, run should have probably been higher. Yeah, with yeah. That. Um, LL should probably be a lot higher than what I don't even know where he is yet. But if they're taking longevity and all those other things, yeah, yeah. I know oh, that, yeah, I yeah. know they probably gave him the credit. Same with Rick Rock, just for just for creating Maybach music. That whole era. Yeah. But John. Yeah. <laughs> Where's John? Let's see, that's it. Rick Ross should be a little higher. I. D- I well, let's see. Next. 48 is Melly Mel. I know you probably don't know Melly Mel. No. no that's no, back in the. Um, be like. <laughs> Grandmaster Flash and the Furious. Oh, okay, 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 okay. With the message, don't yeah. push me. Okay, so, I know that's yeah. you know. Of so course, every, every, almost yeah. everyone in the world. <laughs> <laughs> one of the first songs that lyrics got real when you actually go back and listen to what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> and is Curtis Blow on there? <laughs> <laughs> the Brinks. Actually, no, he's, he's, he is on the list. He's on the list? He is? Yeah. Okay, I'll get the Number 47 is MC Light. Okay. Number 46 is Jada Kiss. Yeah, I see. <laughs> That's really low. <laughs> that's really low. That wow, is a like kiss it. of death. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What that's, is that? That's number forty-five is Ice T. See, nah, Ice T is, is shouldn't be higher than Jadakiss. No. Oh, definitely. Trig. Forty-four is Queen Latifah. Don't go, man. She should be up too. Forty-three is Bun B. Forty-two is Red Man. Now that's a crime. Yeah. Mm. Forty-two. Yeah. I wasn't big on Red Man, so. We, uh, I so that number forty one is E forty. Uh, I think that's, that's I think he should be higher. Yeah, that yeah, goes along with his coast Yeah, movement. that's yeah. He's like he yeah. For number forty is Doctor Dre. Yeah, it's low. Who, I mean, he's not but, a big rapper. That's why I don't even think he should be on the list. Yeah, he's not a big rapper. He's yeah. like a, you know he, what I mean. Him, if you go for like produce, if you made a top fifty producers, he's in the top five. Now, now the oh, thing yeah, with yeah. the with the uh, credentials, I can see why they put him on the list. I can yeah. see a reason why they might put him higher on the list, actually. Now yeah. that I think about it, with, yes. with The Chronic and the then Chronic. Chronic 2001, yeah. those were two specific eras that mm-hmm. they ran. There was nothing else being played during those times. Yeah, you're right. Number 39 is Ludacris. Yeah. That seems low for Luda. They yeah. got Gucci yeah, Man Gucci is 38. Over Ludacris. They got Gucci over Whoa. I mean, they got Gucci higher than Jadakiss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I agree with Gucci being on it because he kind I like of, Gucci. Gucci, all these rappers that are out nowadays yeah. are like offspring of Gucci. I yes, think. a lot of them are. I still don't think Gucci he should be where he's at. Gucci, what would you call him, man? There's Jeez, a couple people that, that we already named yeah. that should be above Gucci. Yeah, I, I, in my I know opinion. that. Gucci was that mixtape era, man. Yeah. Gucci was like a lot. Number 37 is Common. Yeah, Gucci and Common, close like oh, that geez. close together, that should not be. Yeah. That's it. Dropping the mic. <laughs> Number 36 is Most Deaf. Or Yazin Bay. Most stuff, man. To see this Drake, man. Come on, I don't... 35 is Future. Is my mic still on? <laughs> but, damn, <laughs> Future is 35? Is that that's, too low? That's impact. That's impact. Oh, you think you should be higher? No, I think... You should be I mean, low? I think you might, you might need to be higher. He's, he's too much higher than other ones. That's yeah. Yeah. Yes, low. yes, that's, I agree. Yeah. Uh, number 34 is Chuck D. Public enemy. Yeah, no, Chuck D should be. 33, here's another crime against humanity. 33, Buster Ryan. Buster Ryan's mm, at 32. Yeah, that's not, he that's should be not high. Right. Even though I'm not a big Buster <laughs> yeah. Ryan, he should be high. I would, yeah. say, I would say that. Tell us how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crime. Because guess who's right above him? T.I. T. at 32. Trap. Yeah, I, mean, he, he I don't think T.I. should be higher than Luda, man. I think T.I. and Lewis should be close. Yeah, it should be close. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they yeah. ain't 39 and 32. Yeah, they ain't he close. Be, I don't think he should be before yeah, Buster, though. No, me neither. 31 is Little Kim. Female, but she should be. If, if they're doing that, like. Yeah. Lauren Hill at 30. Mm. That seems low for Lauren. Yeah, Lauren should be out. But she don't have a big body of work, though, so I can see why. She don't. No. 
but but what she put out was it's iconic. Yeah. This hard, you know, because they they put all the people we wanted up higher, then they get pushed down. Yeah. Like, oh, but uh, twenty nine is Pusha T. Pusha T above Ludacris and Jada. Or not Ludacris. I mean above Jada. Huh. I don't agree with that. Pusha's nice though. I'll yeah, Pusha is nice. Twenty eight is Black Thought. I haven't heard a lot of his stuff yeah, there. Good. Eight, he's good. Yeah. 27 is Q-Tip. Mm. Black Thought should be in front of Q-Tip. Yes. 26 is Big Bun. Big I think, Bun? Yeah, Big oh, Bun. Oh, no, he should be way up there. Yeah. 25 with Method Man. <laughs> way up there. <laughs> yeah. 24 it's... is KRS-One. 23 is Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow yeah. is high. Yeah, that is hard for someone that just got the breaks. What's other than the breaks? Yeah, why is he um, above uh, KRS One? He had another song, man. That don't make no sense he's at really all. Why is he higher though. than Melly he's, Mel? He's, yeah, he should be yeah. around Melly Mel. If you say that's around that, I think yeah. he should be around that. Because like Curtis Blow, he had another song though, Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah, Christmas rapping and the breaks, but that's all. That's two that's songs you can song, name, man. Man, twenty two is Ghostface Killer. Uh oh. I know you sick. I don't know how they got Ghostface above Meth, but hey, to each his own. Yeah. 21 DMX. That's yeah, another that's crime. A cr- yeah, that's, that's a crime. crime. Yeah, that's a crime. DMX. A crime. Top 10. DMX. Yeah. Big Daddy Kane at number 20. For DMX, though? <laughs> I don't know. That's, debate. that's a debatable one. Missy Elliott at 19. Miss, they can put Missy above a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Missy did have like a whole. Yeah. She yeah, was, yeah. She was going in. Earned but, him the land, but so did a lot of these even, people well, that yeah. we talked after about. that, even like the work yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff, right? What is more like those more pop kind of hits. So at 18, Ice Cube. I I I ain't mad at Ice Cube being in, in the top 20s. No. no. I but, feel like he had something to say about now, this list as well. Now, here here's somebody that I really like, but I think this is a crime. They're 50 Cent and number 17. I mean, when it comes to... When it comes to impact? Yeah, I guess. When your impact impacted <laughs> another rapper so much... Tonight, you made the list. The list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you could... Maybe you could just sit there. The list, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people don't even remember Ja Rule no more. That's sick. I know. That's so sick. That's funny. No boy probably talked to 50. He's like... Uh, here's the list. He's like, get Ricky and Jaw off there. <laughs> and they're like, we got to keep one of them. You flip the coin in there. Ricky <laughs> let Ricky. Let, let put Ricky, Ricky at 50. That is Put him the end. Let me show who's boss. Yeah. 50, man. 50 before your name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that, that's serious. He put 50 before your name. Oh shit! If if he's a petty guy, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I like he that. would do that, bro. He would he would do that. Like I would, I would even flinch it, bro. I know. If he's a petty guy, he said, bro. He's like, yo, we we'll call him up and like, yo, Ricky, let's do Usher's beef. I got you on the list. Oh yeah, Fitty, yeah. What number? Fitty. <laughs> and then just hung up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's crazy. Oh man, uh, that is petty, number man. sixteen, Scarface. I think it's wrong to have Scarface and Finney sent next to each other. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a wild They, they needed weird. some distance. Scarface is... Yeah, his, his body of work is way yeah, too big yeah. for that. 15, J. Cole. J. Cole's 15? Yeah. I like Cole, man. I think I think he should be up closer to LL the top. Cool J is 14. I do respect that they gave him this much prop to put him this close to the mm. top 10. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they don't really give him the flowers like since way back. I know. He, longevity, I think he's... Yeah. Thirteen is for Kim. I ain't, I ain't mad at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. This is what uh, Tyrone oh, yeah. was. Tyrone was tripping. Yeah, right Tig- Tigger was mad at this one. Number twelve is Andre three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like him. I'm making uh, rap, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. I don't think Big Boy made the list. No. Can mm. you honestly, your heart of heart, say that Andre's a better than better rapper than Big Boy? See, I like lyrical the both. delivery. But, yeah. but if Andre's 12, I know Big Boy didn't make the list. He, Like, just the way this is going, no shot to mm-hmm. Big Boy. I know they ain't putting him in the top 10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But who's a better rapper? Um, Man. 
I think Andre's a little better than him. That's a little bit better. I wouldn't give him a yard. I would give him like a couple of inches better than him. They, they, they. It's Ocas, man. I don't know, man. Separate them really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the stuff after Ocas that Big Boy put on. He kept getting better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is dope. yeah. Yeah. And, so, and Andre, he kind of went. Kind of yeah. outside of the traditional hip hop rap fucking genre. He's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, check this. I would never be mad at, and even don't even know if I can argue if someone says Big Boy is better than Andre. No, I, can. I I could totally see it. I could actually agree to a, a lot of points. Yeah. Even though I know it's not the majority's opinion, I could see that. Number eleven, we got Kanye West. Oh, where'd that go? Did you see that just Yeah, it just like disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it was mad at Kanye. <laughs> Kanye said, yo. Kanye, Kanye tapped into my phone. It was mad he ain't in the top 10. Made on the t- cusp of top 10, number 11. <laughs> Kanye West. Yeah, I, I can see it. If, if, like Dave, you're talking about that cultural, cultural influence. Yeah. Because yeah, you've got to remember, he was producing music since yep. way, way, way back. Yeah. Yeah, blueprint. And here's the one that I was mad at, even though I, I love her music. Nicki Minaj at number 10. She's too high, man. Yeah, Wait, too yeah high. she's way too high. Snoop is in the top 10, though, number 9. Yeah. Yeah. But if going back to the Nicki piece, if you're thinking about, like, for female hip-hop influence, like, thinking about people, like, the yeah. marketing of going towards the female fan, yeah, she would be at the top. Like, I don't think there's been any other female who's ga- who's garnered as much fan base oh she yeah has. and she and she crossed but there's so many people on here that she could still be above her right yeah mm. that's but why i'm saying no shots against her yeah if this was a list of female rappers in influence and stuff i kind of i don't know if i want to commit to saying that she could be number one but i think top three for sure yeah i give nikki i get nikki, i don't know i get nikki number one I think I think it adds balance to the list to have her up higher because when you're thinking when you're thinking about it as an optical piece, you know what I mean? Mm. Fifty top rappers and no female made it into the top ten and top twenty, top thirty. I, I yeah. guess that I kind guess. of thing, right? I guess yeah. I could it kind of excludes a whole no, fan base, a whole yeah. fan base. So they pander in there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. Good boy, <laughs> maybe a little bit there. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Some so good. nine was Snoop Dogg. We said that one. Number eight, Drake. Yeah, yeah, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I, mean, I can't give him top ten. five, but I'll give him. I'll give him in that. Yeah, eight. number seven yeah, is Wayne, and I and I definitely think if you, if, yeah, if Wayne there. should, be, should above, be close, yeah, Wayne should be above. Yeah, number six is Biggie. A lot of people say that's kind of low. I'm not mad at it. I ain't mad at it either. I'm not mad at it. His body of work don't. Number is not as not as big as the like right. half the people on this list nah, already. It's not no. Number five, Eminem. Not mad at it. Yep, yeah, not me either. Number Dr. F- Omar is, though. Yeah, of course he would be. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is Tupac. Um, I can live with that. I mean, I can live with it. Yeah. I think it should be higher, but I can live with it. I think Bus Rhyme should... We, we should we, I don't think we should have said Bus Rhyme's name yet. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's <laughs> he should be way higher. So, number three, and we talked about this earlier, is Nas. Number two, Kendrick. And number one, Jay-Z. Now... With the criteria, I can see. Only one known as a billionaire mm. on the whole list. Yeah. Because Kanye fucked it up for himself. <laughs> he, he was yeah. a billionaire, yeah. but he messed it up. So, influence, you know what I mean? Even with Rock Nation, yeah. he helped a lot of the other guys that are on the list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, he I can did. see how they got to that. I don't agree. Yeah. Because I, I w- I w- I'd put Kendrick higher, and I'd have... Bus rhymes in that top five for sure, and X, yeah, and meth. But um, yeah. What do y'all think? Anyone you're totally mad at? I'll, I'll say for t- King Tigger, he t- he ain't here tonight. I'm sorry we didn't say he he's got some prior engagement. That's why he's not here tonight. But he thinks that Andre 3000 Drake shouldn't be on the list at all. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga is a hater for Drake. Don't, don't get that. <laughs> but um, I think I've been vocal of who I'm at. I think should be a lot higher. And I I think Mace and Josh should be on that list somewhere. 
I think Josh should have made the list. Based on looking at the list, I think Josh should made the list. That, that's my opinion, you know what I mean? That I'm, I'm still missing out a lot of the old era. So I, I don't have a lot of knowledge back, like on the Big Puns era and all yeah. the, yeah, the old puns. Those Melly Mel you guys are talking oh, that's about. Way, that, that's almost before my time. I, yeah. I know to my yeah. older brother listen to that stuff, right? Yeah, I don't have... But I, I do, I just know the impact that they had. Yeah. They didn't yeah. impact me that much because I was way yeah, too young. Yeah. yeah. But I do understand why they could be, because of the forefathers, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they built the house. You got to give yeah. them respect for, the, you know, no matter what you do to the furnish the insides of the house and make it look like, you got to give respect to the people that built it, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm happy with uh, LL being way up. Because not only was he down, like, slightly after the whole building of it, but he lasted a whole long time. A long he time, had, yeah. he was like the first Drake, except that Drake stayed at the top of the charts more. Yeah. Where LL would still put stuff out, but just wasn't always number one wasn't like Drake. High, is. Yeah. But he always had a presence, and people always suspected him. And people were always there. And LL would shut down your career real fast. Oh yeah, yeah. and yeah, lyrical yeah. content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and My he, head is he like was a, a babbler too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deepest bluest. <laughs> Yeah, one, LL. One LL is no joke. Yeah, one thing that I'm noticing about the list, and I feel weird. Anyone from Dipset on this list? I was thinking about Dipset too. That's why. Oh I was yeah, Dipset, I, I, I meant to say Camera. When I said Mace, I meant to say Camera and Mace. Jim Jones. I know you don't like Jim Jones. You don't like Jim Jones. I, like. I um, was you a Tyrone? I I don't think uh, he's I'm good. Just, I don't yeah. dislike him. Yeah. yeah. He's got a yeah, different kind of flow. It's like. I, I tell you, like only one of the only rappers, and I don't really dislike him that much, is like Rick Ross. I just don't think he's good. Mm-hmm. I don't dislike him. Yeah. I mean, he does ruin some songs, <laughs> but, go, but, <laughs> but he's not like Bizarre from the <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't that bad. Yeah. Well, going back to that, like that cultural impact and, and what they've done, I if I feel like. Um, Cameron should be there if, if, if uh, not 50 Cent, but if uh, Rick Ross is on there. You got to think about what Dipset did, even to Rockefeller itself. Mm. They came in and he, you know he, what? They came in and almost took over Rockefeller. Guess mm. what? Guess who else should be there if, if this is the criteria? Diddy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we put we, we put Dr. Dre on there. We know he don't write his own lyrics, so. Yeah, they took Diddy out. He's Take black, a of everything. He's black ball, yeah. That's he's what he's double. <laughs> As Cat said, because did he want to party and you have to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> it was fat. Fabulous? Oh, whoa, that's a big miss. Yeah, that's I, uh... <laughs> Yeah, Fabulous, not on there at all. Shoot, I don't even know why I just now thought of him. Is it this? Just more. We just not thinking about it I yet. think there's, there's, hey, there's Tech Nine should have been there. The stuff that he, he did his stuff independent. Yeah. And he's like when he's he's in Forbes with yeah. no major label. Yeah. And being in Forbes magazine. That's that means like these really people cool. might be selling more, mm. but he's bringing more a higher percentage of what he sells because he's independent. So he probably he's probably bringing more money home than all these rappers that we see with all this flashy stuff, right? Yeah. It wasn't on that list either, was he? No. I, I I think his body of work might have been too quick, though. I mean, his, got, his body it was more of the rediscovery with his body of work, right? Yeah. Because there was a lot of people that didn't no. catch on to him. Yeah, I didn't know the oldness. I'm, yeah. I'm wondering. It's like, I didn't catch on to him. They started though, he was I, up after. I, I'm a real post home, homeless um, fan. Is that, is that the right term? <laughs> like, I listened to him more than it, when he died than before. Yeah. I didn't hear about him until he died. Oh, okay. okay. Actually, no. I heard about him on Hustle and Flow. But I never yeah. followed any of his music. Yeah. I never heard yeah. his music until he... Like, I didn't know who this guy was. Yeah. <laughs> I started listening to him when he started talking about, like, wealth and stuff. I said, mm-hmm. man, see these guys? They're actually talking sense. And, like, listening to his music is like, man, see? He he was trying to shift it from gangbang into, let's get money, man. Yeah. So focusing mm-hmm. on that, really. He was trying to, like, do that over. Yeah, well, I, I noticed that because that was one of the things that really gravitated me towards Nipsey Hussle was watching some of the old interviews when he was like, Dirt, dirt Boy's still coming up. And that yeah. was the things he talked about. Yeah, he's still talking about, yeah. yeah. Owning land, yeah. property, not tricking out all your money on a chain yeah. and that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, you're right. I did see that interview. Where he's like, the braids all undone. He's just in the street. Mm. He's, that's, he's just like, he just, 
He looked like old Meek Mill. Like, you know, like when Meek Mill was rapping on the corner? Yeah. That's how he looked. There's a, there's a song that exists that has, that was my one of my first songs to hear him was, it was a song with him, French Montana, uh, Big Boy, or not Big, Big Sean. Okay. And uh, who else is there? There's a couple other rappers in it, but it's, it's like all of them in the studio oh, when they first saw it. Oh, yeah? Dizzy Hustle still has, has like a mini fro. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen that one. I, I, like I said, I didn't see much of him. Yeah, let's see. Yes. What happened to um? Go ahead. Look, what happened to Soldier Boy? I don't know. Uh, I see. I see. He's caught. Please, he's talking about wants. He doesn't want no beef with Blueface now. Oh, I he, said, I, he I, said he's willing to put a thousand dollars on his books. I, I don't know if that's throwing shade or not, right? I thought that. Uh, <laughs> were they supposed to fight? They started they're talking. Beefing, they started, they're yeah. beefing and talking trash to each other. <laughs> And then, over there busting his mic. I don't know how I get this around the chair, man. I'm, I'm just doing magic Put it tricks. in your pocket. I'm doing magic <laughs> tricks. How did I get that in between? But yeah, let us know <laughs> who you think should be on this list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought I thought Soulja Boy should have made the list, man. <laughs> Soulja Boy. He did do a lot of things he, first. He, he did. He did change the, you know. He did do a lot of things <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> he did change the, you know. Yeah. He did. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how good he is, yeah, that we can't even, we don't songs, even know what he did. You know, yeah, songs, he, cranked, he cranked. He cranked that. But he did go from YouTube. Yeah, he was the yeah. so, um, Yeah, he was the first one to take over YouTube, man. Yeah. So, um, last thing I want to discuss is this uh, American Dream by 21 Savage. Yeah, you, you didn't get to check all out, but you most yeah. of it. I know you heard it all. I heard it. And I, I was telling you, like, it's like... I didn't listen to it. I didn't look at the song. I just listened to it straight through. Yeah, I listened to it straight through like a yeah. bunch of times. And I'll be the first to say that I've said it many times on here. I didn't like 21 Savage. He you know, he's always 21, 20. Mm. And his flow was just lazy and stuff. And after hearing the album, like, I'm conflicted, man. I think the album's dope. It, 21. I, but I still have the same opinion on him. <laughs> See, that's what that's 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 what J Cole. I, I bring up J Cole because J Cole was. I don't know if he's the first to say it, but he's the one who who, who mentioned this before. That's, people are missing on Twenty One. Yeah, they they're looking at the that part of Twenty One, and that's the part that's being pushed. But he can actually rap and put together songs. And Dude, his he got lyrics. Guys. Yes, yeah, his lyrics is dope. Yeah, his introspective lyrics. He just got he got nice bars. His beat selection, his ear for beats is immaculate. Oh, yeah. But he still sounds like David Blaine sometimes. <laughs> he got that, like, monotone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lazy. Is, yeah. Like, that's what gets me and that turns me off. But the thing is, is that the beats in the, on his album, the beats are slapping too hard that I'm, I'm like, I'm still rocking. People love 21, man. Yeah. He, he like, I think it was the Sa Savage Mode mixtapes. Those are the ones that he's talking about, you know, a lot of aggressive stuff but that really like put him on yeah. people just play it he had morgan freeman on the last one morgan what? freeman in intro in it <laughs> like, yes yeah, yeah. 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 Morgan Freeman intro and savage <laughs> mode it, three or whatever it's like morgan what freeman, the, morgan freeman right? well look at the people he's done he's done music with and held his held held his own with them and they those yes. songs became humongous yes. hits and that's what the j cole song we forget what it's called we forget what it's called a lot, right now. A lot. yeah him and j cole on that that song is like perfect that's like a perfect song. I'll have to check that one. Yeah, didn't he do what, like an album with Drake? Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, her loss was all him and Drake. But I don't he, know. I don't know if he did anything with Kendrick or not, but like if if he did, then that's the trifecta right there of the yeah, people who we think are the does, tops and tops in this era. He can hang with. He can hang with the big dogs, man, and people respect him. I I think Jay Z got him even straight with his visa and all that. Like, that's, where's he from? He's from Brit. He's from Britain. Yeah, that's why he sounds like that. Yeah. And he came over here like with his mom or whatever. Yeah, when he was like a kid, I yeah. think it was. Yeah. I think this was. I think that's what the album was but about. He still has like the an American accent. Dream. Don't he still have an accent, kind of? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was sort of not as grimy as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not yeah. like, yeah. but it's like close though. Not like a cognac. You watch, none. you watch the video for Red Room. Yeah, he, I think he goes there. He goes yeah. to Britain. Yeah, that's, that's like, over. Like, that's over in the bricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like the, I say top boy. Yeah, I didn't see any of them. Okay. Yeah. 21's good, man. I gotta give him respect, man. He there's a lot of the good songs dope, on the album. Yeah. The album is dope. And like it's I like how he saved all the like R and B influence ones to the end. Because that album ends like 
on a hot, it makes you want to get go through to the end. Yeah. yeah. Like Burner Boy comes on. Yeah. Uh, Summer. Mariah, the, yeah, yeah. Summer Walker, Walker Mariah yeah. the Scientist. I'm just like, damn. Yeah. And uh, Brent Fires. Uh, F- I don't even know if that's how you say his name. Yeah, Fias. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's a good song. He can sing. I like the song by him called uh, Upset. And it's so funny that whenever I want Alexa to play it, I say it how I think it says it. And then Alexa says it differently, but with Alexa, you don't even know if she's saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So uh, yeah, because oh, Alexa Stone calls Roby Street Robbie Street. <laughs> so you know, I don't, I don't know, but I, I y'all think they out like the album? Oh Reco- yeah, yeah. Recommend it? Yeah. yeah. I heard I heard reviews about it, and they're they're right. Like what they're saying, I heard it on other podcasts. I won't say it there, but like his R and B influence is shown. Through, yes, through, and it's through and through it's tight. Album. It's really good. It's, it's yeah, this album makes me hope. Nothing comes out this Friday, so I can just keep rocking to this again. Album. Yeah, because I I. I and then boom, Kanye the drops. Yeah. What? <laughs> what you say? Then boom, Kanye. Then Kanye drops. Um, I I'll be interested to see if Kanye yeah. takes me off of this album. Mm. You know I think I mean? he will. Um, we'll I think he's coming with his heat. last album. Didn't Damn. move, but then again, it came around the same time Drake's album too. I forget what Kanye's last piece was. It was uh, Donda. Yeah, it's when he was doing oh, all those songs okay, in the stadium. Okay, Remember, okay, he was okay. sleeping in the stadium and everything like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, it didn't last. I like, can't remember Don Damn. Told you. Uh, <laughs> it it didn't do nothing. I remember this gospel oh. album more than Don Damn. Oh, yeah. I go back to graduation and all that stuff. The gospel album was good. I, yeah. I'm not a gospel guy. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> no, one thing I realized about 21 that I actually didn't know until today, kind of doing the research, is that he had four number one albums. I didn't know that. That's huge. Oh, and this I didn't. This is his fourth I, number one album. This yeah, is the it, it yeah. debuted at number one. I, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, this debuted yeah. at number one on yeah. Billboard. I think he sold like 130 something units or something like that. People love 21, week. man. I know. You know the, what it is, too? Especially in an era where no one buys music. Yeah. You know what it is, too? He's like, he's consistent. And he's not like allowing other stuff to change what he's what he wants to do. Yeah. He's still twenty one. He still yeah, says yeah. twenty one on yeah. the rap. Oh the rap. yeah. He's not. He's not you adjusting know what? that. That's hilarious. The funniest part is when he says twenty one. His little twenty one, yeah. twenty one. Yeah. Over somebody else's. How are you going <laughs> to add your ad libs when somebody else? You know what I mean? <laughs> like no, let my ad libs roll. He's like no, twenty one. <laughs> I was like. This is my song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even your go. Wait your turn. He's like, oh, 21, 21. I was like, it's it's annoying. 21. You know who his girl is, room, is rumored to be? No. I know it's a rumor. I, I'm on here talking about rumors. No. Who? Lotto. Mm-hmm. Lotto? Yeah, 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 they were talking oh. about that there. Yeah, it's a like, 21. <laughs> Playing one, winning on every front. <laughs> yeah, Lotto's a nice. That's that's a catch. Lotto hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, well that con- that wraps up this episode. Um, next week, I hope we remember to look up and listen to TGT. Oh, you do so, it. Because <laughs> I want, I want, I want uh, Laton to come. I'm going to listen to with, it. With some knowledge on TGT so that we can discuss it. Ta- Three Kings. Yeah, you know, Tigger probably already knows it because the R&B. He knows yeah, his R&B. Like, yeah, he knows I his used R&B. To, yeah, he's sure. R&B oh, yeah. king. I used to be on my R&B until Jodeci came, and then I just never got off of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I, I listen to Drew Hill and all that stuff. But my, Black Street. What? Sorry, I was saying Black Street. No. Oh, yeah, Black Street. <laughs> I, was, I was watching the old Drew Hill video the other day, and I was like, Jesus, Cisco does all oh, spins all day. He's <laughs> <laughs> spinning, spinning, spinning. Hyper, man. <laughs> Cisco <laughs> bit hyper. <laughs> I just anyway. picture when they say cut, like him falling down. <laughs> like, like, yeah, they have a crash man beside him. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm John Kizzy. You know who is he, a.k.a. Philly G, because they know who I be. I'm here with DJ Laton. I'm back. My cousin Ray Ray. What it do? And we out. That's it for this episode. Peace. Get on my